Sienna sat in the makeup chair, motionless, save for her ridiculously long eyelashes, which fluttered closed and then open again as she listened to Elise through the speakerphone. She watched as Gloria, the studio hairstylist, used a hot iron to put the finishing touches on her espresso-colored curls. Sienna blinked, her annoyance growing as Elise spoke. I understand the reason you don't want to come to the party tonight, love, Elise droned, but it's my birthday. Her rich vibrato dripping with southern honey beneath a hint of old Hollywood hummed in the makeup room. Elise had spent a lot of money working with coaches to hide the southern twang, but every once in a while, Sienna could hear it creep back in. Sienna closed her eyes and envisioned her best friend ticking off the reasons on her fingers as she tried to coax her through her expensive smartphone. You're my best friend. So what would people say if you're not there? I promise you, Julia will not be there to report on what she sees. She will be there as my friend. Your secret will be safe. Besides, Victoria and Derek will be attending, and you love Victoria. Sienna's gaze left the reflection of her own in the mirror and met Gloria's, whose brows had raised just a touch, enough to let Sienna know her curiosity was piqued. Hollywood was a nosy little town, with enough hungry spies on the lookout for a juicy story, but Sienna would be damned if she'd give anyone a nibble at her personal life. This was why she normally used her own hairstylist, but it was just her bad luck that Becca was homesick with a stomach bug, forcing Sienna to use the services of the studio's stylist this week. Sienna released a nervous sigh before speaking, raising her voice in an obvious shut-the-hell-up manner. L, am in hair and makeup right now, but I promise I'll call you in a bit with my answer. A slight pause before Elise hummed and replied, Oh, hello, Becca, dear. I didn't mean to ignore you. No, no, Becca's homesick. I'm in with Gloria today. Sienna's rich voice underscored the woman's name, hoping Elise would pick up on the innuendo and zip her mouth. Oh, oh, thank God. God! Sometimes you had to hit L with a figurative brick to the head. Okay, but, Sienna, I'm warning you. I promise, just give me some time to get in touch with Derek. Sienna glanced up at Gloria, again with the eyebrow. She was sure by the end of the day, the rumor going around Hollywood would be that she was either pregnant or or marrying Derek for the second time. Elise let out a displeased grunt. L, okay. Call you later, I promise. Love you. Sienna hit the end button and chewed her bottom lip. Stefan will have to redo your lips if you keep that up, Gloria reprimanded her. Sienna jumped slightly. She chewed things when she was worried. Lips, fingernails, Tips of pens, gum, her teeth didn't discriminate, happy to grind away at whatever was available. She consciously sat back in her seat and tried to focus on watching Gloria's progress with the goal of keeping her mind off a party where a famously out lesbian entertainment reporter would be a prominent guest, along with Sienna's ex-husband and his secret girlfriend. Sienna tried her best not to count how many ways the guest list at that night's soiree could destroy her career as one of Hollywood's most famous and well-loved actresses. Make that Hollywood's most famous closeted lesbian actress. The sour taste in Sienna's mouth was evident on her face as her teeth again sought her bottom lip. Gloria nudged her shoulder, and not very gently, it was going to be a long day leading into an even longer night.